how long does it take you to write a song? Every song's different. Um, this one was actually relatively quick. I think some things that are so personal and so real are just just come out of me very very quickly. So this took probably like an hour and a half, two hours. Wow! Yeah, it's, it's it just was, like it that. Was so, super quick, <laughs> super organic, super yeah, so real. But are there songs that really take a lot longer to write? Some songs take months. Some songs <laughs> I can't ever finish. Um, some song takes 15 minutes. It just it kind of depends on what I'm writing about. It depends on my headspace in the in the moment. Um, it depends on who else I'm working with. Sometimes you flow really well with the other person, co-writers, co-producers. This one I wrote all on my own, so I was very locked in. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah. But I read that you've called this song um, a healing anthem. Why do you call it a healing anthem? Is there something new about you that your fans will discover through this song? I, I think I've always made it known that I want to heal people. That's a big part of my mission. You know, I feel like music is medicine and if I'm able to help heal people through my music, that's you know the greatest thing ever. But this song is definitely a bit slower for me, more ballad-like, much more vulnerable than sometimes I get. So yeah, it's it's really opening up this next chapter for me in my career in my um, art that you know is very vulnerable and very meaningful. And yeah, hopefully people can connect. I've always wondered about that. Um, I've always felt that songwriters when they come out with a song that it's really like writing in a journal but then putting it out there for everyone to to judge to listen to to appreciate it, it is weird it, it is it is a interesting concept because especially when when music becomes your job it, it, it's 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 almost like very scary releasing a song out into the world because it no longer becomes a personal to you it becomes everyone else's songs and i love that i love that that's you know, my music's able to connect with people, but it's also a bit scary because no longer is this my little baby that I've created on my own. It's now out in the world for everyone to listen to and judge, as you said, and critique. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of an interesting one. Now that you mentioned that, are there songs that you've decided to just keep to yourself because you don't want to... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is that like a whole bunch so of many songs? Of <laughs> I have so many songs. Some of them will never see the light of day just because I've moved on from that period of my life. And some of them will never see the light of day because they're so personal to me or who I've written about or what I've written about that I don't really want other people to hear that. <laughs> but it's really just an outlet for you. So, so you know, if you're yeah. experiencing something, it's like automatic for you to just put it into song and then it's just a decision later yeah. on whether or not you release it. I'm getting better at, at expressing my emotions in other ways, but it's, it's definitely been music for me for such a long time. 